Hello all, let's jump into DDL and DML operations in SQL. So let me go to my Snowflake account and I'm sure that's how you guys are using it or however you are accessing SQL, that's fine. Let me create a, a new worksheet for DDL and DML. And I have some queries created here. Let me paste them here and then we'll run run one at a time and I will also talk it through so that you understand what is going on. So let's first create a database. We'll create our own database and that's how you create a database. So run. So it's created successfully and if you go on here databases and if you refresh you will see there is a CRM DB but inside that there is by default it creates these schemas but we are not going to use it we'll create our own schema let's create our own schema data mart underscore customer so this is a data mart or a subset of data in our CRM database which is a customer relationship management database and inside that I have created a data mart for customer related data now let's see what is a DDL and what is a DML so DDL is actually a data definition language it's called data definition language meaning you're defining how your tables and objects will look like let's say you want to create a table like right? that's how your table is going to look like you're creating a table there are different ways to create a table one of them is you give your table like that or you can create a CTAS create table as select from other table like this so let's create a table under under the same database and schema and actually I chose my database and my schema here which is DM underscore customer is already once I created that it by default it chose that it is smart that way so now I don't need to prefix my table name which I'm going to create with my database and schema so I can just write it by default because by default it's already there but what is CTAS? CTAS is a create table and again create table is a data definition language sometimes they ask in interview also what is the difference between DDL and DML and we will quickly also check on DCL which is data control language but let's stick to DDL first so create table as select star so let's do that oh and we didn't choose a warehouse so we should always choose a warehouse first so let me so that's it's selected now now if I run this it will create my table so table successfully created and if I wanted to do a get DDL just I wanted to see what is the DDL command so if you run that and if you click on this here is your DDL and we, this is the one which I've actually pasted here so it's already here now let's look at another way to create table that was as a CTAS right so remember that word CTAS sometimes people use that is nothing but create table as select star from other table or you can actually choose your columns right you don't have to select star you can do choose like customer key or name and then it will only create this new table with those columns instead of all columns now let's say we wanted to create another table called customer underscore skinny and I only want these four fields in that let's say I don't want any sensitive data in this table in the sense sometimes people don't want to use uh, PII data which is personal identify information meaning your address your phone number and people can misuse that so let's create a skinny table it only has four fields let's create that so you create or replace table so if this table is already there it's going to replace that uh, let's say if you create this table like that and now if you wanted to create it one more time let's say you want to remove this like hey I don't want this column right then you can just say create or replace and it will create that table again it won't say that hey, this table is already there because you're replacing that but for now I'll just put my that column back and I'm going to re create or replace again so I added a new column now so now you understand how you can add or or delete a field from the table similarly you can also change data types right this is a number this is a varchar which is nothing but a string data type 
So these are your uh, DDL statements, which defines the structure of the table or a view or an object inside your database in SQL. These are DDLs. Now let's get to DML. DML is related to data manipulation language, meaning now you are talking about data. It's not just about definition or structure of the table. It is about the data. You are changing the data. You are manipulating the data. So let's see in this table, let's say if I run a select star on this table, I don't, I won't find anything in that table, right? Because there is no data. Query produced no results because there is no data in it. Now let's insert some values in this. Now one way to insert data is I already showed you, right? You can always do like that. It will also create data in that table, but we didn't check data. So let's check that data. Also, oh, you need to fix that error. And you can see that now I have data in this table because I created that as select star. So it, when you create a CTAS, it not only creates the structure of your table, but it also brings all the data from this table. But since we have created this table like a create statement, it won't have any data. So that's why the data is empty in this table. Now let's insert some values. So how you insert? So you say insert into customer skinny, you give all your four fields and then you give the values, right? Keep in mind, where care you have to give it in codes. If it's a number or an integer value, you don't need to give in codes. So let's, and we can run all of them together. These are called data manipulation language. So let's insert all of these rows and it will actually show you, this is running, now this is running, now this is running six of six. So six rows we inserted. Now let's check our data. As you can see, we have six rows inserted. Now let's say I wanted to change some of the data. Let's say for 1020 customer ID, I see it as null. I want some value to be populated in it. For that, you can use update statement. That is also you're changing data. So it means it is a DML operation or data manipulation language operation. So let's run this and it will update your data. So it says one row updated. And if I do select star again, and you will see that market segment is all for 1020 Atami Fleetwood. Now, let's say I wanted to delete some data from this table. Let's say 1022, I, I find this segment as null, comment as null, add. so this may be a garbage data, so let's delete that. Using the where clause, I can delete that. Now, keep in mind, with you can do anything with the where clause, like you can choose a lot of combinations with and, or, or in clause, as we have learned in my previous videos. But I'm just giving one simple example with where clause as this. So let's delete that data. So now that data is deleted, and if you do select star, you won't see the customer ID with 1022, it's not there. Now we only have five rows. One more thing I want to talk about updates and deletes. Usually when you do updates, you have to have um, some kind of a where clause because when you're updating, you're usually updating some rows which satisfies your criteria. And usually you do updates based on your primary key because primary key makes your rows unique because sometimes if you have multiple rows satisfying the condition, your updates will fail. So you need to make sure when you're doing updates, you're doing it based on some kind of a primary key or unique key, which uniquely gives the data back. When I use this condition, customer ID 1020, it gave me one row back and it only updated this row. So that's a very important concept, remember that. Updates are mostly done using primary key or unique key. Now there is a truncate also. Again, we are manipulating the data. So these are all DML operations. So let's do cu truncate customer skinny. Now if I do truncate, it truncates all my data. Now there is no data. Everything is gone. Truncate you usually use when you're completely removing your data and you don't want anything in that data. You can also do it with this statement, delete from this, and it will also give the same result. Usually when you need to completely remove your data, always use truncate. Truncates tend to be more faster than deletes, but if you are deleting with the where clause certain rows, then you have to use delete. You can't use truncate and you say where something. So delete is you're removing everything. Delete, you can pick and choose. So remember that difference. 
Now, also, I want to talk quickly talk about DCL, which is data control language. It's an old concept, especially in Oracle and other languages. But with Snowflake and you know new databases, it's not there anymore. Basically, this concept is by mistake you deleted the data, then you can roll it back if you have not committed. And once you commit it, then everyone can see that data or those updates. Again, this is an old concept and I wouldn't spend too much time on it. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.